Hi there, it's Andy from Race Technology. Uh, this is a fairly technical video, um, so if you're new to our products, probably not the, uh, probably not the video to start with, it's uh, fairly dry. Um, but it's something that's triggered a lot of questions, so I want to do a quick video to address it, just to save me sending the same email over and over, to be honest. So, um, we're in the process of releasing version 10, and one of the big changes from version 8.5 to version 10 is the way that we handle variables um, in all our software. So, in version 8.5, which has been the, the, our mainstay for the past, I think, five years at least, each application had its own variable file. So if you set up a dash four, that would have one variable file. If you used analysis, that would have a separate variable file. If you were using the uh, live monitor software, then that would have its own variable file. So you get the idea. So a very common complaint um, or grumble from our customers was to say, well, it doesn't make any sense because I've attached a, I don't know, a sensor to one of our data loggers I'm having to set up here, and then you have to set up exactly the same thing in another application. Um, and that, that was true. It was, um, it was a little inconvenient in, in some applications. So in version 10, um, we've tidied that up a lot. So in version 10, it's the, the variable handling is completely new effectively. And now we have just one variable file that um, is used by all applications. So in very simple terms, if you set something up on the, on the Dashboard Pro, then it's available in Analysis. If you set something up in the, um, in the Live Monitor, that's also available in the Dashboard Pro. Everything is using the same um, platform. So if you imagine on, on the PC, we have one variable file, all the applications are accessing exactly the same variable file. There's also some other updates which I'm going to introduce. So uh, again, another uh, common, common uh, custom comment when they're using 8.5 was that handling of units wasn't very, um, wasn't very, what's the word, um, intuitive or, or, uh, or convenient. So for example, if uh, we shipped a variable file and it was set up for broadly um, UK units, so let's say that you're based on mainland Europe and you don't want your speed in miles an hour, but you want to read them in kph, in, in kilometers per hour. So, or KMH rather. So um, in 8.5, you'd have to go through all the different applications and all the places where speed were, and you'd have to manually change that from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Whereas in version 10, we handle metric units, imperial units in the UK mix centrally. So now you just set one flag, either at installation time or afterwards, to say whether you want it as metric or imperial, and everything changes at the same time. So you still have complete flexibility to change units afterwards, or you know, for a particular application you can set them up, but you don't have to go through and change everything manually, so that's much more convenient. There's a, another change um, in, in the way that we, um, we separate out the variables. So again, in 8.5, some of the groupings of variables were not that intuitive, and the best example of that one was all the ecu divide variables were under a section called serial variables. Now, when we did that, uh, when we set that up maybe, I don't know, eight or ten years ago, that did make some sense because all those variables were coming in over a serial port. But in a, in a modern installation, to be honest, that made no sense at all. Um, so in version 10, we've taken the opportunity to really tidy all that up. And as I'll show you in a moment, we've separated the variables into much more meaningful categories, so they're much easier to find. Um, and the final thing I wanted to mention was we've taken the opportunity to introduce um, some new variables. So um, in 8.5, for example, if you had a pressure or a temperature, then you were expected to allocate those to a temperature or a pressure variable. And those variables have particular scaling and particular minimum and maximum values. Now for a lot of applications, that was absolutely fine. And in, for most of our users, they would take our, one of our ECU interfaces, they would just enable the variables and they didn't have to consider the scaling. However, for our industrial users, it really wasn't um, quite so convenient. And the biggest issue was, um, you had to think about if you were gonna allocate a particular value to a variable, you had to consider things like scaling and the maximum value and all the rest of it which was really, um, well, it was unnecessary amount of detail for the, for the user to be bothered with. So in version 10, we've introduced a new variable called general variable, which is a floating point variable, and then you can allocate a value to that, and you don't have to think about the scaling, the, the resolution of it, everything, you know, it's completely transparent. It's just like, a, it's just a number that you save. Okay, so that's, that's quite a lot of talking. Um, in terms of the practicalities, I'm gonna to switch to the computer, and I'm just gonna demonstrate um, what it really means in terms of using the software, and um, highlight a few of the new features. Okay, so looking at the screen now, so uh, I've installed this, um, the race technology software in industrial mode. If you've installed it in race mode or safety mode or, um, or any other mode, it, it, it will look slightly different to this, but in terms of what I'm going to talk about now and how variables work, it's all the same. So um, the first thing I'm going to point out is there's a new mini application here called the Variable and DVC Manager. So I'll click on that one. So this lists out all the variables which are available. So as you can see, the first thing to notice is they're split into more sensible categories. So now we have separate categories for pressure and angle. This is the new general uh, variables, which I mentioned earlier. So these are floating point ones, which are very useful for, um, for user-configured uh, uh, user variables. Um, if we go to uh, File, 
um, a couple of things to point out here. The first thing is, um, you're invited to set the unit types at installation time, so when you install the software you can specify whether you're metric or imperial or the UK slightly odd mix of units where we use miles per hour but we use kilos, for example. So, um, but if you, if you set it incorrectly at installation time or there's a reason to change it afterwards, you can go here and change default units either setting it to metric, imperial or UK. Um, I should also say in 8.5 you're able to export and import variable files into individual applications. But that doesn't make any sense anymore because there is only one variable file. So if you do want to transfer your variable settings to another computer, then you can do that from here. So you can export a variable file or import a variable file. Um, and so, yeah, that's the only place you can do it from this variable manager. Um, we've also got the opportunity to restore it to the factory configuration. So if you click on there, then again, it will reset everything. Um, and finally, there's a slightly more technical one here. So there's the, you can select which variables to show in this application. So at the moment, I'm showing all variables. Now, for some applications, so for example, in the Thermo 12, um, if I click on that, we only access the, um, the temperature variables. So if you are, um, if you wish, then you can, um, you can choose to only show variables which relate to a particular um, hardware product. So I'll go back to all variables just to know. Okay, so that's the, that's the variable manager. Um, I'll shut that down. Now, if I open any of the applications, so let's start with um, analysis. Start a blank session. Let's just make that nice and uh, compact. If I go to the um, variable manager. You can see it looks exactly the same. And uh, yeah, I mean this is broadly the same as it was in 8.5. So it looks a little bit smarter. We have more categories, but it's broadly the same. And you can see that we have the same uh, the same details in here. Okay. So next, if I also um, open the Dashboard Pro configuration software. just demonstrate one of the new things so for example so now I have two uh, applications open and if I go to common longitude and acceleration and let's just change the smoothing on that so we change it from 0.3 to 0.1 second or 0.1 to second so just as a, a trivial change and say okay and now I go to the dashboard pro software and you can and you can see the dashboard pro configuration software is now reporting that the variable file has been externally edited do you wish to load it now yes so what that is saying is that something in the background has changed the variable file and do you want to apply it to the other application. So in this case, I'm demonstrating that between Analysis and Dashboard Pro, but actually it's the same with all applications. So just for, uh, by way of another example, so if I start the live monitor now, uh, open up. so if I go to uh, common variables, longitudinal, First thing to notice is that the smoothie is now 0.1 of a second because that's what we set it to previously. If I make another change, so let's go to a temperature variable and let's change its name. So at the moment it's called temperature one and let's change that to be air temp. Air temp 12, just as a random example. I say OK. So now you can see that that has changed to air temp 12. If I just minimize that, I go to the dashboard pro and the dashboard pro is now saying it's been externally edited. So I say yes. If we look there now, that has automatically changed to air temp 12. If we go to analysis, variable files being externally edited, do you wish to load it now? So I'll say yes as well. And again, if we just uh, just the manual check, you can see air temp 12 has, has been uh, updated there. So that's um, that's demonstrating that the same variable files in all applications and they, they, they talk together so everything stays synchronized. Um, there are some um, there, there's, there's some things to be aware of when you do that, which can um, be confusing unless you know. So, um, because all the variables are the same, just to be aware that if you load in, let's say, a Dash 4 configuration back off a unit and onto the PC, um, that configuration may contain different variable information to what's on your computer at the moment. So, if that is the case, the computer will warn you that, that it's different, and do you wish to keep the settings from the dashboard or use the settings on your PC? Now, if you do change the settings on the PC, then that Dash 4 config, the variable setup in the Dash 4, will then be updated in analysis live monitor and so on. So um, that's as intended, that's correct operation and everything else, but just to make you aware, you need to be a little bit more careful when you're loading. Well, if you're running just one system, it's probably never going to come up. But if you're running a number of different systems, maybe for a race series, or you're running the test department in a company, or you're doing support for other customers and so on, just be aware when you're loading customers' uh, configurations, it will affect the other programs at the same time. So um, I think that's probably all I want to say about variables. There was just one more thing I wanted to mention about CAN files. I'm going to do a separate video about CAN files, um, but just so you're aware as an introduction. So if we open up the CAN, the Variable and DBC Manager, 
as well as managing the variables, just look at the computer again, you can see that there's a variables tab and there's DBC um, management here. So um, as well as looking after all the variables centrally, we're now looking after all the DBC files um, uh, centrally. So I've had a few customers say, well, I can't find any way to load a DBC file into analysis, for example. And the reason is you don't load them into analysis anymore. You load them into the, DB, into the DBC um, tab on that program. And then those can variables appear in anything, everything. So analysis, live ones, so dashboard pro and so on. Okay, uh, I appreciate it was a bit of a dry video, it's a bit techy. Um, hopefully it did answer some of your questions though, because this is certainly something that has uh, come up a number of times. So I well, hope it's some use. All right, well, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.